Hi, Leo. Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And Leo, this is one of their true intentions in love, okay? And this, these could be your true intentions, all right? This could be somebody's uh, fake intentions. <laughs> so we're just trying to get to the bottom of the matter here about your person. Yes, we are. And, uh, and we usually uh, succeed. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. And these readings are going to be general, so uh, you know they may or may not resonate. And feel free to switch around the characters, left and right, up and down, round and round, yes. Okay, let's see what we have for Leo in love. Show your support, okay. Maybe you have somebody that you need to kind of do that with. Maybe help them with their family, I don't know, their kids, their job. Just give them some type of love, Leo, to show your support, okay. Uh, especially if this is somebody close to you. That's always a good idea. Let's see what else we have. And make a decision. Yes, make a decision. Okay, already. Okay, don't be an overthinker. All right? Because it never works out. Even psychologists say that. Yeah, seriously. Be true to your heart. Okay. Okay, Leo. I'm sure. I, I feel like Leos do that kind of stuff anyway. Amplify your positive emotions. Okay. So, there's somebody here who needs your support, uh, Leo, and I feel like you need to make a decision. And when you make that decision, be true to your heart. That is really important. I feel like fire signs uh, typically are true to their heart. Yes, they are. They're not usually worried about uh, other things so much. What I mean by that is, um, I feel like they don't think about money too much. I just feel like they just kind of... Uh, go after what they want, right? And they don't, yeah. So let's get right into it, Leo. And let's see what energy you're in. You're in the King of Swords energy. You're making a decision. You see that? Let's see. Unless your lover or somebody is an air sign. Here you are, the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're making a decision. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, possibly, right? Your person's energy is the full card. Maybe they're an Aries, could be. And the Six of Swords is here. Taurus energy showing up with the Hierophant. This is what you want, Leo. You, I feel like you want a commitment. Mm-hmm. Let's see why. You're, let's see what you are. Uh, let's see what you are analyzing or deciding. What is that King of Swords there? Why is that there? Queen of Cups, you could be making a decision in love, possibly, or about a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like you are deciding whether or not you're going to offer your cup to somebody. Knight of Cups, mm-hmm. Let's get a card on that Knight of Cups. Lovers, it could be a Gemini here that you're dealing with, maybe. Let's put these cards up here. Six of Wands, yeah, you're, so you are in your head right now, analyzing a situation, you could be making a final decision, maybe, I mean, the Oracle card is, is like prompting you, right, kind of nudging you to make a decision, I feel like you could still be in analytical mode, it could be a choice between two people, the lovers is here, but it doesn't have to be, um, we have just started the reading, you could just be making a choice, uh, you could be making a decision in love, it doesn't have to be, uh, potentially between two people, and it could be involving a water sign or a Gemini, right? Let's see, the Queen of Wands is crossing you. Why is that Queen of Wands there? And remember, you guys, the Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Let's see, sometimes that is just about love. Sometimes she shows up because the Queen of Cups represents love, right? And intuition and creativity. Mm -hmm. That sounds like me. <laughs> And let's see here. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's see. I've had so many tech issues, I get to laugh, all right? Seriously, I really get to laugh, and it's one thing after another, all right? Things have kind of quieted down. I feel like it's because Mercury retrograde is over. Thank the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have. You could be dealing with a Sag for sure. Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there's a Sagittarian right here, and you're trying to make a decision about love. Yes, you are. And let's get a card. Let's get one card on that Wheel of Fortune. Because they all kind of look like Sag with three cards. Why is that Wheel of Fortune there? 
That Queen of Wands could be you, Leo, right? Wow, somebody is really upset here. It's either you about a Sag or they about you. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm not crying over Leo, so it's not me, you guys. <laughs> why is that Three of Wands? So the Three of Wands is in the root. This is why it's all happening. Yes, it is. And the Eight of Wands, I feel like someone's turning their back here. Somebody's, somebody's crying over a third party, I think. Yeah, I think so. Somebody could be, like, turning their back here and becoming single, right? This is the single card, right? It is. Sometimes it is just kind of manifesting on your own or, like, you know, coming into abundance and taking really good care of yourself, things like that. But if somebody's crying over here, I feel like they're crying because of somebody's becoming single, right? So the hero fit is what you want, Leo. Let's see, why do you want the hero fit? Queen of Swords in the reverse. This could be a, a, an air sign who is like in the reverse. The Hermit is here. I feel like you can't make a decision. I feel like you want a union with somebody, but maybe you can't make a decision. The Queen of Swords in the reverse can be somebody who is unable to make a decision, right? She can, unable to discern something. Eight of Cups. Wow. You could be wanting a union here and wanting and wanting maybe to walk away from somebody else. It could be like a mix, right? That's and I feel like because you're not going to cry over here, right? Nine of Swords energy about becoming single unless you know or being single unless you are like being left behind, something like that. Wow, let's get one more card on what you want. I feel like you want to make a decision about a union, whether or not you're going to walk away. Yeah, why is that Eight of Cups there? Six of Cups, it has to do with somebody from the past giving them a second chance. The King of Wands, this is you, or this is the Sagittarian over here. The Magician, wow. I feel like you want a new beginning, but it talks about leaving somebody else out. I feel like that's what it is. Let's see about your person. So they have the Fool. Let's see here, why is that fool there for Leo's person? Two of Pentacles, they're thinking of like starting something new here, and this is you. This is probably with you. Uh, it could be you here, the Sun card, right, Leo? Mm hmm. The Moon card, Ten of Swords, wow. Okay, your person could, I feel like there's two, there's two, union, there's like two different unions here in this reading. Yeah, there's two different relationships and, or at least potential ones. Mm hmm I just think that your person is, I feel like they could be wondering if something's over. Yeah, maybe with a secret or with a water sign. I feel like that's what they are doing. And at the same time, they could be wondering if it's over and wanting to take a leap of faith. If it is, all right. The Six of Swords is their crossing energy. I'm going to take this. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They could have already made up their mind here. It's a possibility. And this, this over here about your person, it could talk about taking a leap of faith and just like ending it with somebody. In other words, they're not worried. They're not wondering if you're ending it with somebody. They could be ending it with somebody, in order to take a leap of faith on you. I feel like mm -hmm. it could be any other person because here you are, Leo. Right? Not not in a good spot right here. Nine of Swords. Your worst nightmares. Your worst fears. So over here, your person. She's this person is thinking about leaving. Right? Yeah. Or whether or not somebody else is leaving or left. Let's get a card on this Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. It is usually not waiting any longer, knowing what you want to do. Sometimes it is uh, kind of coming to a conclusion that, you know, your harvest is like nothing that you thought it would be. The Devil card, like nothing really great. It didn't pan out great. The Devil, wow, this could be, wow, this third party energy here. This could be heartbreak. Mm -hmm, definitely the devil and the three of swords. 
I feel like your person's leaving here. This is what I think. But it's going to go, it could, it could depend here. They could be, I feel like they're wondering if something is over. I feel like that's it. Yeah, and you're over here trying to make a decision if you're going to leave somebody. Yes. Wow. And the Page of Swords is what they, this is the root. This is why it's all happening for them. This is kind of the reason why they are wondering this and that. Page of Swords, Star Card, Ace of Wands. I feel like they're trying to win, they're trying to figure out if they can heal it with you and have a new beginning. But they don't know if you've left the situation over here. Yeah, a third party. They don't know if you have left. And they want the Four of Cups. Why would they want that? Let's see. Why would they want the Four of Cups? Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like they want to, they want to like drop a burden here. Some type of a burden. They could want somebody to reject somebody here and just end it. It could be a burden to them. Let's get a card on the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. They definitely want a new start here, but they could be thinking, I feel like they want you to re reject somebody. That's why they're wondering if you have left somebody. I feel like they want you to leave somebody out who is creating a burden for them. Yes. And let's go over to Vimeo, you guys. And I'm going to finish out the reading where we're going to spell everything out right. We're going to find out the underlying energies, and there's lots, and how they really feel about you, the challenges and the blocks uh, for you, Leo. I feel like they are for you. They could be for the other person. It's just going to depend. And what they're hiding from you or what you simply don't know about the situation, what they are fearing, and the actions they're going to take, or their true intentions, rather. This is, yes, this is what are their true intentions in love. Yes, it is. And all those extended readings are super affordable, you guys. They are all day long and twice on Sunday. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. If you guys need your own reading, that is always the best way. Thank you so much.